Hi, do you know how AMF plays a vital role in 5G Go? Do you know how AMF connects with other nodes in 5G Go network? How connectivity with other network functions are happening for AMF? Hi, my name is Sumit and I welcome you all to our YouTube channel Technology World. In today's session, we are going to discuss about AMF and very important network function. How connectivity is happening with other nodes and what are the some important functionalities of AMF. Let's start with today's agenda. First, we need to understand the architecture of 5G Go network. As you all know that we have two kind of architecture structure in 5G Go or in 5G network. First one is your surface based architecture. And second one is your point to point architecture. Architecture itself is a dedicated topic and we can to discuss in the later part of other sessions. Here, our main agenda to identify the AMF functionalities and connectivity with different nodes. So here, for the AMF functionalities, I am taking point-to-point -point architecture as a reference point. In the this slide, you can see the AMF has connectivity with different network functions. Network functions are nothing but this is your 5G core. You can see here that this is your 5G core and you can see here that this part is your 5G core. This is called a 5G core network. This is a control plane related messages. And now you can see here the different network functions are available in this code network like SMF, like AMF, like UDM, PCF, AF application function, AUSF, your NSSF for network slicing and all these network functions are connected with each other as a reference point. So here you can see the AMF has connectivity with different network functions. You can see here that AMF has direct connectivity with your RAN with end to interface and AMF has the direct connectivity with UE as well through N1 interface. Unlike in 4G, in 5G, we have a direct connectivity of UE with your AMF through your N1 interface. AMF is maximum similar the same functionality which was present in MMA if we compare with the 4G network but in case of 5G it's a AMF so maximum functionalities are same if we compare with the MMA in 4G and yes please do like and subscribe and press bell icon for the latest videos from technology world now back to the point and let's discuss. So you can see in the point to point architecture of the 5G, we have the direct connectivity with different nodes. You can see AMF is directly connected with your NSSF. You can see the AMF is directly connected with your AUSF for the authentication and the SMF for the session management functionalities, messages. And you can see the PCF with the PCF also, we have a direct connectivity with N15 interface. N14 is nothing but an uh, interface with which AMF can be connected with another AMF. And you can see the connection between AMF to RAN part means your NR. Okay, and this is your N2 interface. So now let's move forward and let's discuss about some functionalities of AMF. 
let's use the yes you can see here that we have different functionalities like your device registration device registration is nothing but it is a responsible for registering a 5g device with the network and assigning it a unique identifier this allows the network to keep track of the design and its location amf has the responsibility of the device registration another network function is your access management function access management function is nothing but it's like a authentication authorization and accounting of the 5g devices you can see here if we talk about the some basic functionalities ue is connected with your gob which is a ram okay. and then we have connectivity with amf so first when we are talking about the first registration request by the any device or any ue that amf has the responsibility to authenticate and to verify the parameters of the ue whether this device is eligible to connect with network or not right so amf has the connectivity with another network function which is called AUSF and UDM. So with the help of UDM and AUSF, AMF provides a registration request and response to the UE. If this device is enough capable to attach with this 5G core network, then the registration and authentication process will be happening. So this is the main function of access management function. Another point is your mobility management. Mobility management means nothing but a handover. You can see AMF tracks the location of the device and manages handovers between cells and base stations. It also ensures that the device maintains connectivity as it keep on moving in different area of network. So you know that we are, if we are using the network function, so it might be possible that your user is keep on moving so that time that handover need to be maintained so this is the reason why we required mobility management in amf another point is your session management amf manages the establishment modification and termination of 5g sessions for devices it coordinates with the smf SMF is nothing but your. It has this AMF has direct connectivity with SMF, and with the help of SMF, AMF manages the establishment, modification, and termination of 5G sessions for this particular UE. Right now, another function is your user plane function selection. So, as, as of now, you can see here that SMF has a connectivity with UPF as well. So what is happening? UPF selection means you AMF selects an appropriate UPF based on network policies. Network policies and device location. The UPF is nothing but it is a responsible network function. It is a responsible network function for forwarding user data between device and the network. So you can see here in the architecture that this is your UPF, right? And you can see the connectivity of SMF with UPF and this is a user plane. So you can see here that UPF is a responsible to fetch data and forward data to external network or from external network to your user equipment through your N3 interface to uh, NR part and NR to your UE part. Right. So this is how process is happening with the UPF. So UPF selection is also a very important role of AMF functionalities. Next one is your subscriber data management. AMF stores and manages the subscription data such as devices profile, subscription data and the surface of data. So this is one of the most important functionality of AMF. Security management. Now you can see here the security management. 
now we all know that when we talk about the security so it is much more enhanced in comparison of 4g 5g has greater security reasons with the security management so you can you can uh, understand this with the help of a registration process and what was happening in 4g in 4g you can uh, remind by yourself that ue was connected with your ran part which is your inode p and then that request that registration request goes to your mme what mme does mm is request to your hss right which is your subscriber database and then hss verifies all details of this ue and authenticate it so that was the simple process but in this case we have some parameters like your MC, mc value like your k value and all other parameters right so it need to be verified with the help of hss but these mc values and other parameters were not encrypted means easily it can be miscellaneous users can be hack that information as well so the security was little bit lesser in comparison of 5g but in case of 5g what is happening we have secured some encrypted forms like your susi and susi okay susi is nothing but you are conceived this is an encrypted form of the desired parameters for the network registration so this is this itself susi and supi is itself is a dedicated topic for the you know and we will come up with the next sessions upcoming sessions with these particular things okay so this uh, for now you can understand that the security is much more enhanced with the help of some encrypted form of encrypted engagement right so this is what about the security management another function is your network slicing network slicing is what depending upon the user requirement amf plays a critical role in network slicing okay so in case of 5g what is happening here your amf is connected with your nssf network slice selection function okay so we have different kind of use cases right you know about embb enhanced mobile broadband if we talk about the low latency you are LLC ultra reliable uh, low latency communication okay apart from that massive type of communication is there massive machine type of communication MMTC okay so these are some use cases so as per the request so in 5g what is happening we have divided with them with the particular slices we have divided this use cases with the particular slices in network slicing so this is also a function of amf to provide the network slicing as per the requirement of the use case required by a ue or by a ue so this is how network slicing it is also a dedicated topic and we will do discuss about the same in our upcoming sessions okay another point you can see here the network integration Network integration means the you can uh, it is uh, AMF is also responsible for integrating with the 5G code network with external networks such as 4G network, right? So if in case AMF wants to connect with MME, okay, user wants to move with the from 5G to 4G, 5G to 4G. So how it will happen? It mean it will happen through the and network integration right so this is also a very important point so how amf is connected with mme amf is connected with mme through your n26 interface right so this is how network integration happens apart from that amf coordinates with other network functions okay to be uh, to ensure the seamless handover between different networks Okay, so this is also a very important function. Another point is your control plane management. Control plane management is nothing but, uh, you know, 5G network which is responsible for the signaling and network management. So this is called your control plane management. 
next point you can do discuss about the policy control policy control is nothing but policy control like in 4g it was pcrf right but here it is in case of 4g it was pcrf and here it is pcf policy control charging and functions right so what is happening in 5g amf has the connectivity with pcf as well you can see here that amf has the connectivity with your pcf with your n15 interface right so with the help of n15 interface the connectivity is happening with amf and your pcf so what is the policy control responsible for the enforcing policies related to the network resources allocation quality of service charging with the help of pcf so this connectivity n15 provides enables us for the policy related control system location management location management is responsible for tracking the location of 5g devices and managing their mobility mobility nothing but your hand over and all it is same like your mobility management right and last one we can understand with the not network optimization amf plays a key role in optimization the 5g network for the performance and the efficiency so with the help of with the understanding of these functionalities we can see that amf has plays a vital role with different network functions with the help of direct connectivity with different interfaces it plays a very important role so it is done for today's session okay we will be back with another node another network function soon so stay tuned with the technical world youtube channel press bell icon for the latest updates thank you